hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to group tasks here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go in Microsoft Planner, you can group tasks in a few different ways to help you organize and manage your work more effectively. Okay, so I'm going to show you a lot of ways for you to be able to do it by using the bucket, due date, labels, or assigned to. So once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the plans that you're working. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this right here. All right, and I'm choosing this one. If you can't load your plan, just click the option that says go back to plans. Let's create a new plan from scratch instead. All right. And from here, you can choose anything. But we're going to choose the basic that starts with list in a board. All right. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to put in a name right here and click on create. And wait for it to load the entire thing right here. For example, you wanted to add some tasks. Add some tasks right here and a lot more. All right. Add a new one, say for example, deep laughs. All right, so first things first, I want you to go to the uh, grid section, all right, because here you can basically you can basically um sort them by due date. For example, is it going to be ascending or descending? All right, you can put in a date here. For example, it's going to be uh, due on November twenty twenty four. So, so you see, you can go to the uh, task itself because if you do that. If you click on open details, you can put in the progress. Hey, for example, is it going to be in progress? And you can put information here. All right. The uh, priority is set to maybe urgent. And we're going to create a new task. Say, for example, task two. And then same thing. Open the details and make it like um, very um, important. All right. And then task three is going to be in this one right here. And of course, you can set again the priority to uh, maybe like um, low for now. And the last part is going to be task four. And then the uh, priority is set to be like medium. All right. So you have like priority, important, low, medium. Now here you can basically check the progress from in progress to not started to completed. So you have all of that information. All right. So you see there's a lot. Now, another important thing that you can do is put in a sign is here if you want it. And you can also put in the start date by checking on the descending or ascending. You can also add labels if you want. For example, you can put in red for um, very important. For urgent is something like a purple. Medium is something like um, maybe a light green. And add label or I mean like low is going to be something like, uh, like a teal. So these are one of the best ways for you to be able to organize your tasks here in microsoft planner you can also add a bucket if you want right here on the to do you can put in um different buckets you can rename this as well all right each method helps you to organize your tasks based on specific criteria additionally you can combine grouping and filtering options for more detailed task management right here you can put in the due date priority progress labels bucket and of course, the assignment. You can assign this to any member of your group. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.